All right, guys, what we have here is a TXT48 harness. Okay, so this was a stock harness for a TXT48 cart. I have already dissected the harness, pulled it apart. So I'm gonna go over the entire harness for everyone who's doing the Navitas conversion, um, using this harness, and people are, keep having questions about what is, what is what, what plug is used, what color goes where. So let's go over the harness. I'm gonna start at the controller side so everyone is, can see what is at the controller side and what you use. So let's start at the big plug. The big plug is the 16 pin harness. This plugs directly into the Navitas TAC2. Okay, so this plugs straight into the controller. All right, and there is a two wire, red and blue, and a, the two wires here, it's in a four pin uh, connector. This plugs directly into your tow run switch. Your tow run switch will have four wires that will plug into here. So don't be confused and don't think it's not right, but when you plug your tow run switch in, there will be four wires on the tow run. There are only two on the actual harness itself. Okay, so um, also out of the harness there, I've already taken it completely apart. So then you have the four wire Molex here. Okay, so you have green, red and blue, black and white. This is your ITS. So this goes to your throttle. This may look much different than your current throttle if you don't have a newer style cart that has this harness factory because the, the actual um, ITS plug on the older carts is a square plug. So your options are to find, this, find the uh, connectors and you can change the ends or simply just clip the four wires and put uh, male female connectors on on both sides of your harness and then you will be just fine. But the four the four wire plug is for the um, throttle. So moving a little further down, you have three wires, red and blue, yellow and blue. So for, for the sake of not, no confusion, let's just say you have a red wire, blue wire, yellow wire. The red wire, this goes to the the battery hot side of your solenoid. So the solenoid, uh, you're probably gonna have to change the end of this, which I've already done. If you're gonna use the MZJ400, it's got a much bigger stud, so you'll need to change this in. So this, this goes to the big lug, the big stud on the solenoid that is closest to the battery. So your battery your battery uh, 48 volt hot will come over to the solenoid. This will also to the same lug. And then the yellow and the blue will go to the small lugs. Just for reference, we'll hook the yellow on the side of where the red wire is on the small lug and the blue goes to the other. And out the other side of the solenoid goes to your controller. Okay, so from a little further down the harness, I've actually pulled this harness apart and changed and I just put the uh, mesh wire loom instead of the corrugated plastic so I just change on this end a little further down you have three more wires gray orange and green this is your forward reverse switch so these three wires plug directly into your forward reverse switch and they are um, so, so you're up so most other carts will have corresponding colors here I will, I will post up pictures later of the actual orientation of where they go so that everyone knows. And right past that, you have, a, you have an orange big plug. So the orange plug here actually plugs into the blue wire out the back of the charging port if you're using the triangle shaped Delta Q. So that has a blue wire and it plugs straight into the orange wire. This is your charger lockout. Okay, and then you have the three wires coming off of the charger port. So the black wire goes to your, um, your ground, and then the two wires, which are red and gray, they will both go to the battery side of the uh, 48 volt battery. So battery hot, ground. Okay, so let's go back up this direction and go all the way to the longest run of, of wires. 
and you will end up with four wires at the longest run. You have a white, and then you have a white and yellow. Then you have green and red. The green and red is your reverse buzzer. Simple enough. White and yellow and white, that's your ignition. So, ignition, reverse buzzer. Four wires go all the way to the front. Two go to ignition, two go to reverse buzzer. And that is everything you need for the hookup of the TXT 48 harness. So, that's, that's the entire harness completed. What I didn't show you were, there's two other plugs here that you don't use. So, this plug, which has green, purple, yellow, and orange, this plug normally sits somewhere back near the main harness, which go to the 16-pin harness, it'll be in here. So this plug is in there. This is like the factory service port for Curtis controller. You do not use this. I dissected the entire harness and I pulled the entire thing out all the way to the other end, which looks like this. It's basically a service port. So you don't need this because you, know, you, you, because you don't, it's all Bluetooth on the next one. So if you see there, you can take the entire harness apart and pull this out on both ends. Okay, you don't have to do that. You can just leave them hanging, wire tie them off the side, however you feel like doing it, but this is not used. The other plug that is not used is this one. It's a three wire black connector. This is your factory speed sensor for your stock motor in the DC setup. You also do not use this. This wire is uh, red, black, and white. It actually runs all the way up to the 16 pin connector. Just for reference, I just took a pair of uh, close cutting dikes and I cut the wires clean off. So there you go. You don't use those either. If you want to just unpin them, it's going to be the second, third, and fourth. Leave, leave the orange wire. Sorry, dropped it. Leave the orange wire at the end. You can just cut off the second, third, and fourth, or you can just unpin them and remove them. You do not need them. If you don't want to do that, you just leave the plug hanging in the harness. It doesn't matter. It won't plug up. So for the, everyone who's asking about, you know, what plug does what, that's, that's it. That's your whole instructions. Everything you need is there. These are the three plugs that you'll be looking at right here. When you can't find where they plug in at, these three never plug in when you do the AC conversion. So, tow run, two wires and a four wire plug. Main harness plugs directly into the TAC-2, straight into the controller. Solenoid wires, main power, these both, these both go to the small, the small terminals. Then you go all the way up to the front of the harness, four wires, yellow and white and white, ignition to your key switch. Red and green, that's your reverse buzzer. And then forward reverse switch. You have three, you have three male terminals on the forward reverse switch. You have three plugs here. And then on the other end of that wire, you have the orange one with the big, with the, with the bigger end on it. It goes into the back of the charge port. There you go, that's what it looks like. And it plugs right into there. Simple enough.